Hey guys, this is Miss Arlequin, and in this lesson, we're going to be learning how to use rhetorical questions to help us create an engaging hook for an essay. All right, so I'm sure you've experienced this before where you have picked up something to read, and from the very first sentence or paragraph or page, you've realized that this wasn't really a text that's catching your interest. So many people feel like if they don't like the opening sentences, they're not going to even bother to read the rest of the book, which is why it's incredibly important as a writer for you to think of ways in the very beginning, first few sentences, to really catch your reader's interest. Now, nonfiction in general tends to be a genre that a lot of people are less interested in than fiction. Fictional stories are usually funny and entertaining and people enjoy reading them. So writers of nonfiction have to work extra hard to catch their reader's attention. One strategy we can use to hook our reader in from the very beginning is what we like to call rhetorical questions. A rhetorical question is a question that's asked in order to make a point and to get you, the reader, thinking. It's not a question that's meant for you to answer. Now rhetorical actually means, or it comes from the word rhetoric, and it refers to a special kind of talking. Rhetorical questions and the strategy of rhetoric is most effective in persuasive genres. It's usually used because it's very good at influencing people, persuading them or convincing them to change their minds or to see the point that you're trying to make. So you'll often see rhetorical questions in a debate because again, in a debate, you're looking to change somebody's mind. A rhetorical question, again, is a question that does not need to be answered. So when somebody just kind of says, is the sky blue? Obviously, the sky is blue. There's an obvious answer. I'm not looking for you to answer that question for me. Or if I'm really fed up about something and my life's going really bad, I might say, well, why me? Why is this happening to me? Again, I don't really expect anybody to answer that question. There's not really an answer to that question. Why is it happening to me? It just is. Now, why do we use rhetorical questions? Well, again, if it is persuasive writing, you're using the rhetorical question because you're looking to persuade or convince somebody to see things from your side. Sometimes a rhetorical question is used because it is a really obvious answer. So it's a rhetorical question, meaning you don't really need the answer or expect the answer. You just want somebody to think about it. You might use a rhetorical question to make people think about something that they might not have thought about yet. Like the question, what would happen to us if we didn't have parents? That's a really deep thinking question. If somebody asked that to me, I would actually have to spend quite a bit of time actually thinking about what could happen in a situation like that. Sometimes a rhetorical question is really just a different way of saying a sentence. So instead of saying, come and help your mom, you could phrase it as a question, don't you want to help your mother? which again, they're not really asking if you wanna help your mother, it's just kind of implying that you should go and help your mom. Finally, sometimes people ask a question and they answer it straight away. It's kind of like talking to yourselves. Do I have lots of money? No, I don't, but I work hard every day and get enough money for my family. So this would not have been a question that I expected anybody else to answer. It's more just an introduction to the topic and then I'm kind of providing the answer myself. Now, when we look at rhetorical questions, to kind of sum it up, from the audience's point of view, a rhetorical question is helping you identify the key ideas and details, and it's keeping you engaged because it's really forcing you to think about the question and its answer. From the speaker or the writer's point of view, using a rhetorical question is placing a focus on key ideas. It helps build your main idea and it keeps your audience engaged. All right, so when you're looking to come up with a rhetorical question for an essay, the first thing you want to do is you want to think about the topics that you're going to be introducing in the rest of the introduction. So we're going to use the model essay from our Unit 2 performance-based task. Challenges Reaching the Top by Marcy Kaplan. In peak performance, author Samantha Larson illuminates the challenges she faced as she pursued her goal to climb the world's highest mountains. By using cause and effect and colloquial diction in her writing, Larson helps readers understand her dream and what it took to get there. All right, so when I look at my introduction, I see that I'm mostly talking about challenges. 
um, talking about also the author's goals. And my thesis statement is talking about how this author used cause and effect and colloquial diction. So I'm focusing on the strategies that this author used. So those are my three main topics. And this is what I'm mostly going to actually be discussing in the body paragraphs. I'm going to prove that the author used those strategies as a way to help the reader understand her key ideas, her key ideas related to her goals and related to her challenges. Now, a good rhetorical question for this type of essay would be something related to one or more of those topics. Do you have dreams that you have high hopes of accomplishing? Do you feel as if challenges are in your way? Can you be tenacious and accomplish it? So here we have some rhetorical questions. I don't expect my reader to answer them, but I want them to start thinking about these topics of dreams and challenges. And as we can see, it clearly relates to the rest of the introduction that is gonna follow these questions. Or I could do something like this. How hard is it to achieve your goal? You have obstacles, what can you do to overcome them? And then that's a good lead in to the way Samantha Larson overcomes her obstacles in order to, in order to pursue her dream or goal. All right, now let's look at an example of an introduction from a student's essay for a short story called The Black Cat. The Black Cat is a story by Edgar Allan Poe about a protagonist who thinks that there's a black cat that's haunting him and trying to drive him insane. So for this essay, the student started with the following questions. Would you ever kill someone that loves you? Would you think that is sane or insane? Some people will think it is sane because what if the person is obsessed with you? Other people would think that that should not happen under any circumstances. All right, so now is this an effective rhetorical question? A rhetorical question is gonna be effective if it is getting the reader thinking and if it's an open-ended question. Questions that have either yes or no answers are not really good or effective. Um, because again, the whole point is to really get the person, the audience member, the reader, to start thinking about what the question is asking. And if you can answer the question really easily, then you're not doing a lot of thinking. Would you ever kill someone that loves you? It's a pretty effective question. It's definitely something that doesn't have a simple answer and it could lead to a lot of deep thought. And it definitely connects to the story because in that story, the cat does have affection for the family. Although the man thinks that it's trying to drive him crazy. All right, now here's an example from another student's essay. This one is for a short story called The Most Dangerous Game. In that story, there are characters who hunt other people as if they were animals. So for this essay, the student started out with, have you ever been in a situation that a crazy man wants to hunt you? Imagine if you were, that would be crazy, being hunted by a human. Is this an effective rhetorical question? Well, it definitely does relate to the story, However, it's a little specific and a little simplistic. Um, have I ever been in a situation that a crazy man wants to hunt you? I mean, how many people are actually gonna be able to answer that question and say, yeah, I've been in that situation. So this is not really a great opening question. If you wanted to do something for the story, it would be better to think of a way to take the specific situation of being hunted and make it a little bit more general. Maybe ask your reader to form an opinion about that situation. All right, finally, let's look at one other example. This comes from a student essay for the story, The Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe, which is a famous story about revenge. Have you ever gotten revenge on someone? Did you ever go too far, maybe even kill someone? There are many stories about murder and crime, just like in the story, The Cask of Amontillado. All right, so is this an effective rhetorical question? Again, it is related to the topic of a story. It is talking about revenge. However, like the previous example, the student is going a little bit too far. They're asking the reader if they've maybe even killed somebody. Again, how many people are actually gonna be able to answer yes to that question? Most people are gonna hear a question like that and they're actually gonna kind of get turned off to the writing. like. Why is this person asking me if I've ever killed somebody and it's crazy? I'm like, no, I haven't killed anybody. 
So again, when you do your rhetorical question, you do want to use the specific topics of the piece that you're writing about, but you don't want it to be so specific that your reader is not really going to get connected to the question or they're not really going to be able to answer it or relate in any way to what you're writing about. Perhaps for this, a better question would have been, all right, have you ever gotten revenge on someone is very good. Take out the part about killing somebody and maybe just kind of explored the questions of revenge. Maybe ask a few more questions about why people get revenge or maybe something related to the motives. Like what are some of the reasons why people get revenge or what were some of your reasons? Those would have been more effective rhetorical questions. All right, so let's see if we can now apply the strategy to our own writing. Um, what rhetorical questions can you come up with that would fit into your performance-based tasks for this class?